What is up everybody? It's his, your boy, Geek of Sneakers, back with another video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're doing a giveaway at 5K where I'm giving away two $150 gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing. After you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it and make sure to follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak underscore today is the final video for vintage week which is my entire vintage tea collection i got into vintage around late 2018 when i remember i went to the grand opening of round two south beach and if you haven't checked that vlog out the link will be in the description because that video is a straight banger i was really there just for the sneakers but while there i was looking at the vintage and i was kind of amazed of how dope they were seeing with vintage you're wearing something that's unique from the mid 2000s and older and to see someone with your exact vintage piece is kind of unlikely. Plus, I love the fits on vintage tees. A lot of t-shirts from today will have a regular length, but in terms of the sleeves, it'll be too short. So that's why when I want a new t-shirt, I mostly buy vintage. Again, because I love the fit and the style of tees that were made in the mid-2000s and older. Plus, you're saving the environment by wearing vintage, so that's cool too. It's also crazy how a lot of these tees I paid $20 or less. There's a few that are 30 and over, but for the most part, these tees are straight steals. I'm going to talk about each item very, very very quickly as there's too many tees for me to go in depth. The video would be like 30 minutes long and I don't want it to be that long. I'm trying to keep it between 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even less than 10 if I can. Also to keep it organized, I'm gonna show everything in categories or topics. So first I wanna start with what I have the most of, which are band tees. I got a beach, be a, be a, a beach, what? I got a bush tee from their album, Science of Things. I bought it from Macari and the listing was already at a good price. I think it was at like $20, but I decided to try my luck and get it cheaper. So I ended up copying for 15. I got a 2005 Motley Crue tee. This is also from Macari and I think the original listing was for $15, but I put it in an offer and surprisingly got it for super cheap at $11. Third is this Ozfest tee from 2000. Just mentioning Ozzy Osbourne feels very nostalgic to me because when I first got into rock around nine years old, I was listening to a lot of classic rock and Ozzy Osbourne I was listening to very very frequently. Like I was listening to War Pigs by Black Sabbath right before I started recording too. But I got this tee from the Round 2 Vintage online shop and it was part of a 50% off sale they were doing so the original price was 60 but I ended up copying for 30. Next is a Ringo Starr Tour tee from 2000. I really love this tee like I said earlier in the week. It's one of my favorite vintage tees in the collection. It literally has a combination of bright colors on the front and back that go together perfectly. I bought it on Depop for $15 and it said it was in used condition but when I got it the tee looked completely brand new. Fifth, I got another Ringo Star Tour tee from 03. This is also from Depop and I copped for $16. Next is the Stone Temple Pilots tee from 01. I love the deep shadows and the deep blacks in the graphic. Also, I like how it has tones of blue instead of being in color. So it creates a completely different mood compared to if it was in regular color. And this tee I got from eBay for $16. Second to last band tee, we have a 2003 Aerosmith Roximus Maximus Tour tee. I bought it on Depop for $16 and when I got it, the tee was a little bit small so I ended up stretching it out fit. And if you want to see how I made the tee a size larger, I have a video you guys could check out after this one on how to enlarge a t-shirt. The tee is super dope though, it has everyone's portrait picture on the front, then on the back it has the list of tour dates. The last band tee I have to show you guys is this Godsmack tee from 2000. This was $15 when I bought it at SneakerCon 2019. Now the next t-shirt is the only music artist tee that I have, which is a 1994 Reba McIntyre tour tee. This is another tee from round 2. This is one of the few tees I got in my collection that was more expensive. I think it was around $50 to $60 brand new. But on the front, it has a picture from her Read My Mind album. I love the dominant purple color on the tee and how it fits really great with the gold, white, and black on it. The 10th shirt I got is a movie tee, but also kind of related to the subject of music that we're on. It's an Evita tee, and Evita is played by Madonna. It has Madonna standing with a spotlight shining on her while behind multiple microphones, and this was only 20 bones from Depop. Next category of vintage we got is wrestling. I said in Friday's video, I wish I had more vintage wrestling tees in the collection. Out of all the vintage categories, wrestling is my favorite since I grew up watching wrestling and I still do. So the first tee is probably my favorite because of the really dope graphic on the front and back. Here's a 2003 WrestleMania 19 tee. On the front it has four of the biggest matches on the show with the WrestleMania 19 logo. And on the back it has the tagline with again the WrestleMania 19 logo, the date, and the stadium. I always wanted a WrestleMania 17 and 19 tee as they're considered two of the greatest WrestleManias of all time. I was able to get this 19 tee for $20 on Depop, which was super lucky seeing they go for $50 to $70. Hopefully I can get a WrestleMania 17 tee for a good price in the future too.
too. I got a 1998 Stone Cold Steve Austin tee from eBay and it was only 16 bucks. And what actually blew my mind is I saw the same t-shirt about a month ago on a vintage page on IG and it was going for $100. Plus doing some extra research, I see that most people are pressing this particular tee for around $70. So also with this tee, I got super lucky with the price. Next tee is from round two, which is a Taz Racing tee from 2000. This was also from the 50% off sale I was talking about earlier with the OzFest tee. The original price, just like the OzFest tee, was $60, but it was brought down to $30, which was a really great price because it was brand new with tags when I bought it. The last wrestling tee is the Eddie Guerrero tribute shirt, one of the best wrestlers of all time. I got into wrestling around 2007, 2008, so I didn't get to see him wrestle when he was alive, but checking out reruns of his matches on YouTube when I was younger was definitely a treat. Those are all the wrestling tees I have. I definitely want to get more companies other than WWE like WCW, TNA, etc. Next topic, we got cars and racing. This 1999 Jeff Gordon tee is one of my biggest deals. It was $10 with free shipping on Macari. It's crazy how I saw this tee like 30 minutes after it was posted, and I thought if I don't buy it right now, then someone else will, and soon. Because this is too good of a price to pass up. Second is also from Macari with this 90s Dale Earnhardt Winston Cup tee. The shirt was listed as used, but when I got it in person, it had no signs of wear. For $15, this really has a great and large size graphic on the front. Very easy to put on a great outfit with, with the blue, red, white, and black from the shirt. Third is a graffiti night tee that I got from a vintage store earlier in the year for $6. The multiple bright colors was definitely a factor when copying this tee. Plus, I need some more white tees not just in my vintage collection, but in general. So I definitely wanted to add this to my closet. I got another Dale Earnhardt tee priced at $16 from Depop. It's probably the oldest tee that I have in the collection since it's from 1989. Also, one of the softest tees I have too. It's actually very, very comfortable. And the final car tee, I have this leader of the pack racing tee that I got from Macari for I think $8 or $13. I love the graphic with the wolf on the front, and on the back it says Dirt Track Racing in American Tradition in blue. Next up are sports tees. The first three I'm going to show are all $20. And we got a Chicago Bulls championship tee from 1998. I got it at SneakerCon 2019 the same day I got the Godsmack tee I showed before. This 1997 Florida Marlins World Series tee from Etsy. I love the graphic with all the players around the trophy and the big size text on the top and bottom. And then we got a Griffin vs. Jones 2 boxing tee from the same vintage store I got the Graffiti Night tee. And the final sports tee I had to save for last because it was crazy I found a 1995 Red Wings Western Conference championship tee for $4.77 plus $5 shipping on eBay. So it was essentially $9, but it's still an insane price. Plus, it's another tee that I have that's very soft and comfortable to wear. For the final category, we got pop culture and random tees. And I'm just gonna skim through these last few. We got a Taz Looney Tunes tee for $15 on Depop. Such a crazy graphic for the price. A Black History tee from eBay that was $14.50. Another crazy graphic for the front and back of the t-shirt. And a 1999 Bike Week tee from round two for $50. I'm not even gonna cap. The price jumped from $14.50 cents to $50 that kind of that that kind of caught me off guard those are all the t-shirts but wait there's more. I know it's a t-shirt collection video, but I wanted to include these next two pieces because they're the only pieces that I have that are vintage but not t-shirts, so I don't want to leave them out. First, we got a San Jose Sharks jersey that I got from Goodwill. This was amazingly at $4.50, and at the time of buying, I didn't even know it was vintage. I actually bought it before I started getting into vintage, and I didn't find out it was vintage until like two years later, because I randomly came across the same jersey on Depop with the same tag in the back and everything. Now for the final piece of the video, I have Bro, we, we, we're just getting to we're just getting to the final piece, bro. The final piece we have is this Minnie Mouse sweater that I got for $20. And I got it from the same store that I got the Graffiti Night Tee and the Boxing Tee. A pretty simple graphic, it just says Minnie on the front. But it is embroidered, so it has a nice texture. And it pops out with the bright colors. But that's everything. Tell me what you guys think about the collection. I appreciate everyone who watched every single video of Vintage Week. I worked really hard in the videos. And I originally wanted to have all the videos, you know, planned out and recorded, edited a whole week before this week started. But... but in reality, three of the five videos that went up this week were all recorded and edited in the same week, so so my sleep schedule was all screwed up for this week, I'm not even gonna lie. But if you haven't checked out some of the videos from Vintage Week, I will put links in the description. Again, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it, and once again, follow me on Twitter and IG at geekofsneak underscore. Hope you guys keep rocking with your boy. It's been your boy Harry, aka Geek of Sneakers, aka Geek of Sneaks, aka Geek, aka G-O-S. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.